Hey everyone, I'm Amanda, the Red Witch Bitch, and look, I got a new witchy office space. Everything is peachy. I have my matron Rhiannon over here and my patron Lucifer over here. And now we are here to talk about Claire Senses. So the four Claires I'm going to go over today are going to be Claire Audience, Clairvoyance, Claire Sentience, and Claire Cognizance. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the Claire's and then how to develop them. This is a highly requested kind of video on my TikTok, so I thought I'd make a larger video and then post it here. When you have a spirit talking to you through your Claire audience, it's going to sound like another tone of voice in your head speaking to you. It's not gonna be scary. It's just gonna be kind of odd at first. It's gonna seem like it comes from within you, so you're gonna think it's kind of your own ideas or whatever, but Sometimes they say things that you would have never been able to just make up on the spot or answer questions you genuinely don't have the answers for. That's how you know it's clear audience. One book I do recommend for this series is going to be The Psychic Witch by Matt Oren. Now, when I started talking about the Claire's and everything and how to develop them, he talked about in his book, he talks about in his book things that I was explaining but I'd never read the book at that time. So, anything that sounds familiar from this book, uh it's probably from Matt. Um, I, to be quite honest, I have not gotten all the way through this, but I still know how to develop your Claire's and everything. Um, so if anything sounds familiar from this book, it's me. I didn't, I, I haven't read this yet. So just go read it, <laughs> go, go read it. In one of my TikToks, I had said, oh yeah, no, you develop a Claire like this, or you do have a, develop this Claire like this. And they're like, oh, that was in the Psychic Witch. I'm like, oh, it was? I, I have. I never read it. Like, <laughs> what I have gotten through the book though is it goes over a lot of different Claire abilities and how to maneuver in your dreams, astral projection, all of that cool shit. So back to Claire audience. The one way I've found that really works for me to develop my Claire audience when I feel like I'm a little lacking is I will listen to music. And it sounds really simple because it is. You just listen to any song you want. It does not matter the type of song, the genre, artist, anything. Just listen to the music, any music you like. It could be on the radio. Just listen to the vocals. Just listen to the guitar. Just listen to the drums. Just listen to little bitty parts of it. Pick out sounds and focus on those. This is going to be fine tuning your senses. This is isolating sounds. So when you start to isolate these sounds in the songs, you can hear the spirits talk and everything to you in real life. It may not work right away, so just give it a little bit of time. But if you already are clairaudient, then it may work a little faster for you. With all of these clairs, it doesn't work immediately, so you have to give it a little bit of time to develop, okay? The second one I wanna go over is gonna be clairvoyance. Now, clairvoyance, I was born clairvoyant. My mother was clairvoyant and clairaudient. My grandmother was as well even though they don't call themselves psychics, I do, and it kind of runs my family. So I was never really aware of how to develop it, so I did have to look it up. I actually had to look up what Matt Oren said about clairvoyance so I could kind of like, you know, edit what I had to say so I could combine both his opinion and my opinion. For clairvoyance, you're gonna to need to use a little bit of imagination and visualization. If you have aphantasia, then this might be a little bit harder for you, but it's not impossible to develop. So. Everywhere on TikTok, you see the intuitive checks and everything, how they'll, you know, uh, they'll hold the crystal in their hand and they won't show it at the beginning of the video. And they say, you have to guess what color the crystal is or what type of crystal is it or what animal is on this tarot card. So it's the same thing. It's the same exact thing. So, and then they open it and you see, oh shit, it's a rose quartz or whatever the hell it is. It is kind of fine tuning your intuition and your clairvoyance. When you are trying to enhance your visualization abilities and everything, um, hold an object or a crystal or something in your hand, something small, and study it. Study all of the cracks, all of the crevices, all of the colors, the shape, how it feels, everything. And just hold it in your hand. Close your eyes or shut your hand and try to imagine in your mind what it looks like. Pick, pick apart all of those details that you just saw. Visualize it and hold it in your mind until you can see it and then open up your hand again and like kind of match it. Another thing I like to do for clairvoyance, I hear you meowing, yes, is take your happiest memory or a memory that you cherish. This is kind of like, kind of like a Patronus and you can visualize this memory. Visualize the people in the scene. Visualize where you were, where, it, where did it take place? Was it sunny outside? Was it rainy? 
what did the house or the uh, or outside anything what did the scene smell like what did um, what were you wearing what were other people wearing fill in the big details first and then the little details and get down get a little bitty details now your mind will fill in details that you do not remember this is false memories and it is installed in our brain already because our brains our minds are fallible we will not remember the entirety of a scene that's why eyewitness accounts for accidents and everything you need a bunch of eyewitnesses because people can be wrong and you know scientists know this so even if it may be a false memory or you have like little details that may be not there maybe false memories or something like that still visualize it this is all exercising your mind and your third eye your visualization of everything so fill it out fill out the scene and then just you know just come out of it it's just a little bit of exercises here and there to help you visualize things so that when spirits give you messages you are able to see the scene now again with spirits giving you scenes and information with visions sometimes spirits can use only what you've already seen or what you have um, already learned like in your vocabulary to give you messages so sometimes they may take aspects of different memories different movies different shows um, you know different pieces of art to fill in a scene and show you what you need to they can't show you things that you've never seen before so they kind of have to piece things together in your head the third one I want to go over is going to be Claire cognizance for the Claire cognizance exercise I'm not really going to go over with Matt's description just because I haven't read the whole book so I don't want to you know misspeak when giving information from his book to you if you have not already read it so if you have read it you're probably good but for those of you who haven't and are using this video to kind of teach themselves I'm going to do the best I can to help you building up Claire cognizance also kind of has to do with talking to your intuition and your inner self your higher self I guess when exercising this it helps to ask yourself little questions things you may already know the answer to when you're at the grocery store or you're making a little choice ask yourself is this better or is this better should I get granola should I get cereal should I get fruit should I get this or that what the fuck ever just ask yourself should I should I do this or should I do that your color cognizance also has to kind of do with your intuition and um, your decision making in your head sort of um clear consciousness is just knowing is clear knowing so it's just knowing this or that or whatever other people might have different methods of you know enhancing this clear but this is just my experience so you should be able to get information from other creators that say differently so you can cross-reference all of us and see what works for you my methods may not work for you but it's worth a shot always see what works and what doesn't it's all your practice so you got to make it your own the last one i want to go over is going to be clairsentience this is clear feeling clairsentience and clair empathy are going to be two separate things now people usually equate them to mean the same thing but they're kind of a little bit different clair empathy is being able to feel somebody else's emotions as your own clairsentience is knowing about emotions feeling other people's emotions and knowing about them like like have you ever gotten a text and when you're like really upset and somebody says, hey, are you okay? Like, I, I got this weird feeling like I should check up on you. And you were like, holy shit, how did they know? How did they know I was upset? That's clairsentience. Clairsentience is not feeling somebody else's emotions. It is the awareness of somebody else's emotions. This one is kind of a little bit more difficult. I'm gonna be honest, I don't have this one. Uh, it's very difficult for me to develop this one, but some people have it naturally. Whenever you get a weird emotion that doesn't quite feel like it came from within you, like you have no reason to be upset, but you are, then it might be one of your friends or somebody in your inner circle that is upset. It's like having a connection from you to another person and something plucks that string and so both sides reverberate. Both sides have that little wiggle. So each side feels it. We just gotta figure out where that wiggle came from. Cause it's not like you can see the little ropes and which one has been plucked and which one hasn't. We have to kind of figure out intuitively which string was plucked that connects to a certain person. So whenever you feel like this, write it down in your journal, date it, and maybe ask a couple of your friends, hey, what's up? Hey, how are you doing? Don't pry. 
don't lead them on because you don't want to plant a false memory or a false emotion just like you know in psychology and everything um, it's very easy to implant false memories and false emotions into somebody um, so just be like hey what's up how are you doing and like oh okay I'm fine I just had a big fight with my dad and you'd be like oh okay so that's what I felt you can say I think I felt that I I had a feeling I should contact you. I feel like I should check up on you. And if that's not the case, then just dismiss it and just have a nice conversation. It doesn't even matter. But be aware of those instances where you feel the emotions that don't seem to come from within you. They seem like almost sent to you. You might be able to even practice this with a friend. I mean, now that I'm thinking about it, it could be, it, it could be practicable with a friend, like with a buddy system. Like you could probably have somebody sit in front of you and think of a memory that made them feel a very strong emotion, love, anger, sadness, happiness, something like that. And see if you can guess what that emotion is. Don't be like, oh, is it this? Is it this? Is it this? Like don't, don't do a rapid fire, just say one of them. If you say no, then it's okay. But this is getting also in tune with the other person. So this could strengthen the connection so that when something does happen to one of you, the other one will feel it. This is all my opinion. I have not tested this, but if you have tested this or you do, let me know. I think that'd be cool. The other clear senses I didn't really talk about today are gonna to be clear tangency, which is clear touch. This is feeling things on the other side of the veil. Uh, psychometry, which is the measuring the spirit or the soul of an object. This is like being able to know who owned this object, when they owned the object, what their life was, getting stories and everything, and feeling emotions off of this object from its owner. Um, clear empathy, we kind of went over that. There's also clear salience, which is clear smelling, and clear gustance, which is clear tasting. These are all different senses that the spirits can use to send you different messages. You may have clear gustance. I don't. Um, you may, you may have um, a sense that somebody else doesn't. It doesn't matter. You're not less and you are valid. It just means that you're going to get different types of messages from guides, spirits, everything. Um, they're going to use anything at their disposal to be able to talk to you. So if you are able to pick up smells, they may send you a smell of roses or perfume or tobacco smoke. They might send you different things like that to tell you things about themselves. Try to be open and accepting to any messages that spirits have for you, but make sure you are protected and your wards are working so that no other spirits and troublemakers can get in and give you false information. Always protect your space, always. No matter if you are just working and trying to enhance your clear audience with your guides, always protect because you never know who's going to be in your space. You can as well ask your spirit guides, your ancestors, your deities to even help you develop your clear senses. They are always willing to help you. All you need to do is ask. Sometimes healing can also help develop these. Shadow work and healing is essential when we start leveling up and when we start expressing ourselves with these different abilities and we start figuring out who we are and what we can do. Healing is so needed, so needed. We cannot level up and we cannot evolve with our abilities unless we heal the traumas that have happened to us in the past. This can be this life or it can be past lives. Either one, we have to start the healing process. So if you feel like you don't really have any of these senses, maybe start a little bit of shadow work and then you may get a download the next day. People evolve differently in all sorts of different ways. So just take it at your own pace and see what happens. If you have any questions about anything I talked about today, let me know in the comments below and I'll see if I can answer them. And if you have any suggestions for any kind of new videos that you wanna see in the future, also let me know, I am always open to suggestions. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you could just give me a like, a follow, subscribe, all of that good jazz, I'd greatly appreciate it. So until next time, I'll see you later. Have fun and happy witching.